वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू दि लास्ट पार्ट आफ् दिस चाप्टर हेलो आलकेन अंड हेलो हेरी इन दिस पार्ट ई विल एक्सप्लेन अबउट मेथड्स आफ प्रिपरेशन मेथड्स आफ प्रिपरेशन आफ हेलो हेरी अंड प्रापर्टी आफ हेलो हेरी मेथड्स आफ प्रिपरेशन प्रापर्टी अंड पॉली हेलोजन कांपौंड पॉली हेलोजन कांपौंड सो फस्ट वील सी मेथड्स आफ प्रिपरेशन आफ हेलो हेरी so that means chlorobenzene bromobenzene iodobenzene fluorobenzene like these compounds so direct direct halogenation of aromatic ring you take benzene ring benzene compound is treated with chlorine in the presence of lewis acid like fecl3 chlorobenzene will be formed when benzene reacts with chlorine in the presence of lewis acid chlorobenzene will formed it is the direct direct chlorination of benzene it is an electrophilic substitution reaction you know electrophilic substitution reactions of benzene there are five electrophilic substitution reactions of benzene they are predel crafts alkylation predel crafts acylation nitration sulfonation and halogenation that halogenation reaction only it is one so halogenation of arenes is an electrophilic substitution reaction the function of the halogen carrier the function of the halogen carrier is to generate electrophile to generate electrophile which attacks the benzene ring to form the product so what is the role of fecl3 what is the role of lewis acid in this reaction is to generate electrophile like cl plus cl plus that cl plus will attack benzene to give chlorobenzene in the same way if benzene reacts with chlorine product is chlorobenzene if chlorobenzene reacts with again chlorine in the presence of lewis acid product is ortho dichlorobenzene and para dichlorobenzene among ortho and para para is the major product why it is ortho and para because chlorobenzene is a ortho and para directing group similarly toline methyl benzene when toline or methyl benzene reacts with chlorine in the presence of lewis acid product is ortho chlorotoline and para chlorotoline here also toline is also ortho and para directing group so it will give two products among the two products para is the major product so it is about the first method of preparation that is direct chlorination if you want to chlorobenzene you have to treat with chlorine bromobenzene bromine but iodobenzene to get iodobenzene benzene is treated with iodine you will get iodobenzene but this reaction is reversible process because along with iodobenzene hi will form that hi will converted into back to i2 iodic acid so it is a reversible process next one how you will get fluorobenzene fluorobenzene bromo compounds can be prepared in a sim similar way by reacting with bromine in the presence of febr3 the reaction of fluorine is violent and cannot be controlled therefore fluorobenzene cannot prepare like this all this halobenzenes so fluoroarene cannot be prepared by direct fluorination of aromatic hydrocarbon we have to follow another method for preparing fluorobenzene that is from benzene diazonium chloride from benzene diazonium chloride so after direct halogenation of benzene that is first method to prepare haloarene second method is sand meyers reaction it is named reaction in the Uh, board exams it is, it is frequently asked question that is uh, sand meyers reaction named reaction when benzene diazonium chloride reacts with cucl when benzene diazonium chloride reacts with cuprous chloride in the presence of scl product is chlorobenzene when benzene diazonium chloride reacts with cubr cuprous bromide cuprous bromide product is bromobenzene product is bromobenzene next getterman reaction like sand meyers reaction getterman reaction is there with a small variation only just arrow mark medium only changed when benzene diazonium chloride reacts with copper metal earlier case cuprous chloride cucl 
here cu only when benzene diazonium chloride reacts with copper and scl chlorobenzene is the product when benzene diazonium chloride reacts with cubr in the presence of hbr sorry cu plus hbr product is bromobenzene so if you use cucl and scl that reaction is sandmeyer's reaction if you use cu plus scl then it is called gatterman reaction to get iodobenzene benzene diazonium chloride warm with ki you will get iodobenzene so to get fluorobenzene benzene diazonium chloride is treated with fluoroboric acid you will get some intermediate fluoroborate after heating you will get fluorobenzene direct preparation of fluorobenzene from benzene is not possible you have to convert benzene to benzene diazonium chloride from benzene diazonium chloride only you will get fluorobenzene it has balz shaman reaction name so these are the methods to prepare haloarenes that methods are direct halogenation second sandmeyer's reaction gatterman reaction now chemical properties of haloarenes haloarenes undergoes three types of chemical properties three types of chemical reactions one is nucleic nucleophilic substitution reaction electrophilic substitution reaction and reaction with metals you, you know alkyl halides alkyl halides characteristic reactions are nucleophilic substitution reactions already we discussed sn1 and sn2 reactions related to alkyl halides halo alkenes but it is haloerene haloerene case nucleophilic substitution reactions are less the reactivity of haloerene is less towards nucleophilic substitution reaction why we will see that one reasons for the less reactivity of chlorobenzene why chlorobenzene is less reactive because haloerenes are highly unreactive towards nucleophilic substitution reaction because the bond between cl and benzene ring has a partial double bond character double bond that bond between halogen atom and benzene ring so cx bond is double bond to break this bond more energy is required because of resonance so reasons for the less reactivity of halo chlorobenzene so one is resonance effect second one is sp2 that halogen atom is attached to sp2 carbon sp2 carbon means it has a length small small size so attraction is more to break this this bond more energy is required so now we will go to third reason instability of phenyl cation in a haloerene you see in alkyl halides if rx bond breaks x minus gone so that what is the remaining part c plus carbo cation is more stable because of hyper conjugation but in case of haloerene when cx bond is broken phenyl cation and x minus is formed phenyl cation is highly unstable phenyl cation is highly unstable as the positive charge resides on the electronegative sp2 carbon atom phenyl ca phenyl cation is less reactive next the last reason is electronic repulsion an incoming nucleophile experiences repulsion from the electron rich phenyl ring in aryl halides so because of these reasons haloerenes are haloerenes are less reactive towards towards nucleophilic substitution reactions haloerenes are less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reactions just to recall what are the reasons what are the reasons first one is resonance effect second sp2 carbon attached to sp2 carbon electronic repulsions short bond and strong bond double bond character so these are the reasons so chlorobenzene is ortho and para directing group if any group you would if chlorobenzene reacts further if any product formed generally it will give ortho and para ortho and para now we will see there are three types of chemical reactions for chlorobenzene or haloerene nucleophilic substitution electrophilic substitution reactions and reaction with metals you will see nucleophilic substitution reactions chlorobenzene can be converted into phenol under drastic conditions 
you take chlorobenzene cl you treat with naoh it gives phenol but it needs high temperature 623 kelvin it needs high pressure 300 atmosphere under drastic conditions only this cl minus replaced by oh minus this nucleophile cl minus is replaced by oh minus under drastic conditions because it is a haloherene if you keep electron withdrawing group like no2 at argon para positions the reactivity increase you see first example no2 is there at para position so 443 kelvin temperature is sufficient to give product in second case two no2 groups are there one is at ortho another one at para so temperature is reduced at 368 itself it gives a product so that means presence of electron withdrawing group like no2 at ortho and para increases the reactivity of haloerene now you can see in this reaction there are three no2 groups three electron withdrawing groups at ortho para and ortho if three groups are there there is no temperature much temperature is not needed just 443 kelvin your pressure also not needed you heat you just warm it you will get picric acid picric acid the product name is picric acid 246 trinitrophenol 246 trinitrophenol it is the picric acid you have to remember generally organic acids contains either cooh group or so3h group if cooh is there then it is called carboxylic acid so3h is there then it is called sulfonic acid this picric acid does not contain either cooh group or so3h group they will ask in exams the acid organic acid without carboxylic group or sulfonic group that is picric acid so this is about nucleophilic substitution reactions of haloerenes haloerenes undergoes nucleophilic substitution reactions under drastic conditions because haloerenes are less reactive because of four reasons so next you will see electrophilic substitution reactions because of ring nucleophilic substitution reactions because of that rx x bond these are the reactions electrophilic substitution reactions because of benzene ring halogenation when chlorobenzene reacts with chlorine in the presence of anhydrous fecl3 lewis acid catalyst it gives both ortho and para in that both ortho and para para is the major product what is the first product name 14 dichlorobenzene that is para product and 12 dichlorobenzene this is ortho product so halogenation is the first electrophilic substitution reaction now we will see second electrophilic substitution and reaction that is nitration when chlorobenzene is treated with nitration mixer nitration mixer you will get para product and ortho product para product and ortho product between these two ortho product and para para is more stable so chlorobenzene and nitration gives one chloro four nitrobenzene one chloro two nitrobenzene in these two one chloro four nitrobenzene is major product now we will see next electrophilic substitution reaction is sulfonation when chlorobenzene is treated with oleum type compound fuming sulfuric acid you will get four chlorobenzene sulfonic acid para product four chlorobenzene sulfonic acid this is called sulfonation reaction it gives two products ortho product and para para is more stable what is sulfonation addition of so3h group we have seen already halogenation nitration sulfon reaction next one is predel crafts alkylation predel crafts reaction when chlorobenzene reacts with methyl chloride methyl chloride you will get ortho and para products it is about predel crafts these are the reactions related to benzene ring so these are called electrophilic substitution reaction so similarly third category that is reaction with metals when chlorobenzene or haloerene is treated with sodium metal there are two types of reactions are possible one is alkyl halide another one is aryl halide if alkyl halide and aryl halide react together with sodium metal you will get alkyl benzene this reaction is called wurtz pettig reaction 
If you take only aryl halide with sodium metal in the presence of dry ether, you will get a diphenyl or biphenyl. This is called Pittig reaction. What is Woods Pittig reaction? In Woods Pittig reaction, you have to take the mixture of alkyl halide and aryl halide. You have to treat with sodium metal in the presence of dry ether. This reaction is similar to Woods reaction. In case of Woods reaction, only alkyl halide. In case of Pittig reaction, only aryl halide. In Woods Pittig reaction you have to take both alkyl halide and aryl halide students you try to remember alkyl halide sodium and dry ether alkane that is woods reaction aryl halide sodium and dry ether you will get a diphenyl that is pitig reaction you take the mixture of alkyl halide and aryl halide sodium and dry ether you will get alkyl benzenes these are the reaction with metals now you will see last topic of this chapter polyhalogen compounds poly means many many halogen polyhalogen compounds in this carbon compounds containing more than one halogen atom are referred to as polyhalogen compounds apple they have more applications in industry and agriculture examples methylene chloride chloroform chloroform iodoform carbon tetrachloride prions and ddt you will see one by one first one you will see first one is dichloromethane dichloromethane what are the uses of dichloromethane it is used as a solvent as a paint remover as a propellant in aerosols as a metal cleaning agent and finishing solvent it has some harmful effects uh, impairment in airing and vision higher level causes dizziness nausea numbness in figures direct contact with eyes burns cornea so this is about dichloromethane now we will see tetrachloromethane that is carbon tetrachloride main important use of carbon tetrachloride is solvent it is used as a solvent in the manufacture of refrigerants and propellants for aerosol next feed stock in the synthesis of cfcs cfcs it has some harmful effects also common dizziness nausea vomiting severe coma unconsciousness or death the chemical may irritate uh, may irritate eyes on contact in air it depletes the ozone layer ozone layer it causes depletion of ozone layer next polyhalogen compound is uh, triiodomethane so you can call it as iodoform iodoform triiodomethane or iodoform it has antiseptic antiseptic previously due to the evolution of iodine due to the unpleasant smell it is replaced nowadays it is replaced because of its smell actually it is powerful antiseptic it is yellow colored crystalline solid it is also known as iodoform triiodomethane next polyhalogen compounds are prions you know prions chlorofluorocarbons prions they have many uses so they chlorofluorocarbon compounds of methane and ethane are collectively known as prions they are highly stable non toxic non corrosive easily liquefiable gases this has more important easily liquefiable gases prion 12 ccl to f2 is the most common used in industries manufactured by swaj reaction in aerosol propellants refrigeration air condition it is mainly used in refrigerators and acs air conditioners but it has that much adverse effects in atmosphere in atmosphere prions initiate the radical chain reactions affecting the ozone layer mainly prions only responsible for the depletion of ozone layer because of depletion of ozone layer that uv radi radiations will come to direct uh, to earth crust so this is about uh, prions next we will see ddt ddt what is the chemical name of ddt para para dash pp dash pp dash dichlorido dichloro pp dash dichloro diphenyl trichloromethane what is first d dichloro what is second d diphenyl t stands for trichloroethane dichloro diphenyl 
ट्रैक्लोरोथेन डीडीटी इट इज द फस्ट क्लोरीनेटेड आर्गानिक इनसेक्टिसइड इट इज द फस्ट क्लोरीनेटेड आर्गानिक इनसेक्टिसइड नवेडे इट इज बैंड इन सो मेनी कंट्री सो इनसेक्टिसइड एफेक्ट एगेनेस्ट मस्किटो काजिंग मलेरिया and the lice so ampul apex many insects developed resistance to ddt highly toxic towards fish not easily metabolized by animals due to high chemical stability and fat solubility it is deposited and stored in the fatty tissues so it is about polyhalogen compounds now we will discuss about homework now chapter throughout the chapter completed in six sessions you go through this homework and uh, solve all in text questions all in text questions and exercise questions from the textbook also along with these homework questions you complete all in text and textbook questions from the textbook so uh, after the completion of textbook questions you go through previous year previous year sample papers and uh, try to all the questions from this uh, halo alkenes and halo arenes chapter thank you thank you very much